They are at the start of their journey. They think outside the box and they often come up with bright ideas. Their projects are innovative. They are a new generation of business people and their distinguishing features are creativity and enthusiasm. This is the world of startups, the program about IT developers and the industry of startups. Hello, I'm Seri Kakishev, and this is the world of startups. Today you will find out the answers to many, at first sight, obvious questions. The mobile app Crystal has included all banks in one service. The application Kitab will help sell old second-hand books. With the help of new technologies. And finally, the most important announcements about the forthcoming IT events in the coming up feature. This team of startups is anticipating a trip to the Silicon Valley in the United States, learning in the offices of Google, Twitter and Facebook, where they will meet with potential investors. But currently, they are enhancing their product in the premises of the business incubator most. Learn why Ukrainian programmers are interested in the Kazakhstan's market and what is special about the Crystal Mobile app from the market. According to projections for 2019, mobile apps for banking will be used more often than their website versions, and the number of mobile banking users will double within the next five years from 800 million to 1.75 billion people. However, despite the positive trend, banks have two serious problems. Their services are being developed too slowly, and they don't always satisfy their users' needs. Take the Netherlands, for example, where I now reside. Here there are several large banks. They are established banks and have been on the market for a long time. They have steady clientele, but not all of them have convenient applications. For example, ABN Amro. In order to do something on this service, you have to have a calculator where you have to insert a one-time password and you get a reply password. Suppose I forget this calculator at home. I won't be able to make a money transfer sitting in a cafe. Today, thanks to the spreading of mobile banking, 40% of these product users have two accounts or more. Because of this, there are difficulties with using banking services. As a result, they waste their precious time. The developers of the service, Crystal Bank, offer to save this time. Crystal is a universal mobile banking. It's a mobile app plus a web interface which allows you to use all the banking accounts in one place. All the banking accounts, credit cards, loyalty program cards, all on one platform. At present, a mini version of the working product for Windows Phone has been developed. This operational program has been chosen for a good reason. According to statistics, 81.5% of the global market of mobile devices belongs to Android, 40% to iOS respectively. The Windows share is 2.7% or 60 million people. The competition on this market has only a few rivals, so the creators of Crystal have good chances to get to the top 10 banking mobile applications for Windows Phone. The Crystal Bank will work on the principle of the interchange fee, that is through interbank commissions. It will vary from 0.1% to 1.5%. And one more important nuance, the developers of this mobile app work in different parts of the world. The understanding of the trends and mentalities in Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Holland and England will help the application to succeed on the global market faster. We will be the first to work with the banks of Ukraine, Kazakhstan and Russia. Now we are negotiating with some Kazakhstan's banks. There are some preliminary agreements at this stage. The business climate here is favorable for the fast launching of our product. So we are planning to add at least five banks to this service. To create a prototype of the Crystal Bank, the developers spent $60,000, but this amount of money was not enough. Therefore, now the project needs large investments, about $200,000. This money will go to the enhancing of its functions, its testing and integration to practically all large banks of Europe and Asia.
I won't be wrong if I say that each Kazakhstani household has a rich heritage that we have received from our parents. Home libraries. For some, it is just an amount of useless paper. For others, it's a wealth of knowledge. For a resident of Almaty, Olga Juan, old books are an opportunity to earn money. She has created a mobile app which will allow the user to make others aware of buying second-hand books. Our correspondents found out how she came up with this idea and how the app works. A journalist from Almaty, Yuri Dorokhov, has recently bought 170 volumes of the world literature masterpieces for $75. Old books can be bought either on sales or the social networking sites. The launching of the mobile application Kitab will make the process of finding and buying books easier, says Yuri. I was very interested in this service and wanted to know more about it. If its usability is good, I will myself use it. I often look for a book that is not published anymore. Statistics suggest 60% of Kazakhstani citizens are active readers. Every month they buy 3.5 new books and spend on average $40 on books. A new mobile app called Kitab has been made to cut these expenses significantly. Olga Juan, the app developer, predicts that prices for the books in her service will be a lot lower than in normal stores and there will be a better choice on the app. You just take a photo of the book, enter all the necessary information about the book, insert the price, and this book is included on the common shelf and is easily found by anyone interested. A person interested in buying the book clicks on it and makes a direct phone call to the book owner with no other mediators involved. It took two and a half months to create a basic version of the application and it is still being developed. For this reason, Kitab is not openly accessible, but very soon it will be available there. If Olga finds the necessary investments for the project, about $20,000, the app will have a lot more functions. Now our main goal is to get the project started, so that people use it, and probably we will organize the delivery. You have probably seen the automatic booths that have been set in the metro. We are also planning to make money on advertising. The developer says that the mobile second-hand bookstore will aim at making reading paperback books more accessible and affordable to anyone. And finally, one of our favorite features coming up. But before you watch it, I'd like to tell you, startups and IT fans, get ready to travel, as this year we expect a lot of professional events well worth visiting. On the 20th of November, at the Expedition Center Sokolniki, Moscow, there will be the third international exhibition on robotics and advanced technologies, Robotics 2015. The event traditionally gathers robotics manufacturers, researchers, developers, representatives of business and officials in one place. In 2014, during three days, the exhibition was attended by more than 10,000 people. This year, there will be robotics masterclasses for children and teenagers, business meetings for investors and startup projects in the format of speed deals the organizers promise. Also, it is expected to have a fascinating robot show, drones, copters, smart house and smart city technologies and many other things alike. From the 9th to the 11th of December in Paris, there will be held the Love Web, the analog of the American tech crunch disrupt. The event will be attended by 3,000 people from the States, Europe, Russia and Asian countries. The main attraction is that the participants will be able to build networks with the speakers, experts and investors participating in the event and will be able to arrange meetings during the conference. These opportunities attract professionals from all around the world. If you missed the opportunity to attend TechCrunch Disrupt that was held in New York last May, you can visit the same conference but held from the 7th to the 8th of December in London. As usual, there will be battles between startups for the grant of $50,000, the battlefield competition, the weekend hackathon and panel discussions. The list of contestants and speakers is still being composed, so hurry up! That's all for today. I'm Serik Akishev and you've been watching The World of Startups. See you next time on Kazakh TV.